Hey everybody, Cynical Manor here. Today we're back in the hind and uh, we're going to be looking at some uh, how to use the sterms. We've got two possible ways that we can use those today. Uh, we've got uh, one as the pilot and one as the gunner. The first thing we're going to be going over is the gunner options. Um, but uh, let's take a look at the sterms, how many we can carry. Um, We'll go to ground crew, rearm refuel, and we'll take a look at them. So you've got a couple different ones here. You've got the uh, ATGM um, heats, the tandem heat, and the, the high explosive. I generally that's what I go with is the high explosive, um, just because it seems to do better on tanks and things like that. Uh, and we'll turn our combat mix to. Uh, that and that it doesn't really matter because we're not we're not gonna arm anything. But anyway, so we're gonna go into the gunner seat first, and then later on in the video we'll we'll show it from the pilot perspective. To me, it's much easier being the pilot and telling Petrovich what to do to fire the weapons. But I do know that this is a tandem uh, aircraft. You know, you may be playing with a friend online. He's going to be the gunner, you're going to be the pilot, or vice versa, and you need to know how to do both. So let's uh, let's jump into the gunner seat, and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to power up the system, okay? So we're going to get our weapons ready. Um, it takes about 90 seconds to do this, so that's why we're going to go ahead and do them on the ground as we're flying. Uh, we'll do it on the ground, take a call, we'll get Petrovich take off and it'll be like a nice little roller coaster with him because he can't fly <clears throat> and um, we'll get over to our, uh, our range where we have some tanks and uh, SAM sites and things like that set up so we can blow them up and show you how to use these things alright so this bar on the left is our uh, armament panel uh, you're going to flip that up and you're going to get a nice warning light disregard that because it's powering the system up you're going to come over here to this right panel here on the front and you're going to go missile power. Turn that on and then there's a little black box in the corner of the right uh, the front panel and the right panel in the corner here. You're going to power that up. Okay, You're going to come all the way around to the back here and there's a guide unit power. Turn that on. Okay, So that's going to take about 60 seconds or so. Uh, or excuse me, 90 seconds. Uh, so while we're doing that, we'll pull up the old uh, AI menu, and we'll get Petrovich to go ahead and take off and get us going. Uh, and to do that, um, let's take a look at some key bindings first. Go to the adjust controls, and we're going to go over here to the left, and we're going to go to Petrovich AI Helper. Now these are the controls I have bound on my joystick on a hat switch. Um, I've got them bound for the gunner and the and the pilot. Um, to tell Petrovich what to do. On the keyboard they are A, D, W, N, S. W, A, S, and D. Uh, most of you know them as uh, moving around in, on a shooter game um, to walk and those things. So I've just, I don't use those. Um, I've got them bound to my joystick um, or my cyclic. Um, and for some reason it says joy button 5 here I don't know why it says that because it's actually joy button 3 but uh, we got the different ones here it's completely wonky anyway um oh no that's right okay so D is right A is left W is up and S is down the reason I'm explaining those things is because we're about to use them to fly with Pet Petrovich. Alright, so we've hit our, and I don't think I explained that either, but it's uh, left alt and V to pull this menu up. Pull it up and down. I have it set to a, a button on the on the cyclic. But we are in hover, HVR at the bottom, 
and I'm gonna give it uh, up or W and we're gonna set it out to we're gonna say Got it coming up. Far. let's go about uh, Got it coming up. Got it coming up. 186 that's good So he'll come up, as you can see there, and then he'll retract the gear, and we'll tell him to, we'll do an A, we'll hold that down, go left, you see your compass moving there, and Petrovich likes to turn right when he turns left, oh, he actually did it, good job Petrovich, alright, and then we'll just and those are long holds on each one of those that I did. So, long hold on W, long hold on uh, the left. Now, I'm going to do a short hold on W, and that's going to put him at 60 uh, knots a second, or 60 kilometers a second. And we'll go ahead and hit it again. Got it. Tell him to do 120, and he's going to dip down to the earth and make his throw up, and he'll keep moving. And we're going to adjust just a little bit. So, when you get in your aircraft, mess around with these controls. As you can see, the stick is stowed. I am not flying. My hands are off the controls completely. So, it's Petrovich doing the, the work today. Uh, we're just along for the ride, and we're going to blow some stuff up for him. Okay. So, those controls are still warming up. And when we get closer... I'll be back with you, but um, I'll put it into a hover, and that way we can we can get some uh, shots on target. So I'll be back with you in just a moment. Okay, so we've made it over to our range, and I put Petrovich into a hover. Okay, so now that we're um, in the hover, um, we're going to go and do a couple extra things. So, first thing is, this is our site to uh, use to launch the Sturms. So, if we go into, into that, you see that we can't see anything, so let's come out of that. Alright, so let me show you how to use that anyway. Um, <laughs> so that is our aiming profile. It's left alt and A. I've got it bound to a, to my joystick. Um, so, what we need to do is we need to turn that on. We, let me show you the front of the aircraft. See the doors are closed here? We're going to go back here to this panel where we hit guide unit power and we're going to hit observe. Those doors should now be open and they are. And uh, Petrovich is having some issues. Alright, so let's come out of that and we still are not ready to fire. So we're going to go down here and there's doors here for the site. We've got to turn those on and you'll get a little, little indication here saying the doors are open. Now, one other thing before we can launch a missile, we have to select one. So we'll put it on the first station there. And we'll go back into the site. And we'll move this around where we can get something here. And I'll just hit the old uh, Windows key and is it H. Yeah, that'll pull up the menu there so you guys can see it. But we're going to scroll in with the mouse wheel. That's what I use. And let's see here. There is a SA site right there, so we'll just hover over that, and we'll have to pull up our Petrovich wheel again. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a long hold on W. And you hear that noise? He's aligning. When you hear that noise, because we're in a hover, it's going to be a little weird. So I gotta be quick. But you're gonna hit your weapon release button when you hear that beep. So let me do that. 
and there there we go and there's a kill so it's pretty easy so to be able to fire again we gotta come out of the site we gotta go over here to this dial and hit number two or the next one that we have stored and then we go back into the site and we'll go over to the next target and we'll say a line on that and we're off Petrovic is moving around so we gotta steer it just a little bit and there's a kill okay so it's pretty simple once you get used to doing it you're like oh okay this is easy just remember when you get in the site bring up Petrovic you're going to do a long hold on W uh, and that's going to tell him to align the aircraft with what you're looking at and then you can launch once you hear that tone um, I know when you do the tutorial on the um, on the aircraft it's already kind of set up in a way I think uh, they're on a hill so it kind of keeps it when you select the new missile uh, it's gonna you're gonna hear a tone with it already but um, it's not quite the same when you're doing it on your own so don't get don't get frustrated so we're gonna this is a tank here we're gonna tell Petrovic to align on that firing you want to keep your side over there because this is laser guided and we missed we missed which I figured we would because he was moving around a lot all right so we'll come out of the site and we'll switch to the next one and we'll go back in sight and do the hokey pokey and we'll turn ourselves around all right so and then uh, we're gonna line back up to that tell him to align and there's a fire and we're moving around and we got a hit there so it's pretty easy um, now I'm sure if you're flying with a buddy it's gonna be a little more difficult because you're gonna be moving around because he's not gonna hover this is not really a intended to hover type of aircraft to do this it can as you see but uh, it's more of a, a fire and get off the battlefield or get away from the battlefield come back in and do it again okay so let's now, we'll come back out, come back out of the site. Now, if you're flying straight, having these doors open is great. But if you need to take evasive maneuvers, uh, and your pilot's flying, and he's like, hey, we got to turn or whatever. So fire, close the doors, turn off your observe. See, everything's shut. Everything's shut now. Because what will happen is you'll break the gimbals uh, in this equipment if you don't. Okay. So, now let's go to the pilot seat. Alright, so we're back in our training mission here for the Sturms as the pilot. And um, I've taken back off. I had to set up, those were static targets we were shooting at earlier. Uh, I had to set up some real targets for Petrovich to work right. So what we've done, I've turned on my sights. I've turned on the auto sight here. So it'll link with, we can see the target thing. And I'm gonna hit, um, I'm gonna go to controls. And I'm gonna hit down on this uh, prepare weapons, which is uh, con left control and W. Uh, and I'm gonna tell Petrovich to turn on the weapons. Turning on weapons. Okay. So again, that'll take us about 90 seconds or so. And this is our Petrovich AI helper that we'll be using here momentarily. I'll raise up just a little bit because my sight seems low. Um, so we're flying out and there's our bad guys over there. We'll turn that way. I've got some real tanks, some T-55s over there. And uh, we'll get Petrovich to shoot at them and, and I'll show you how. To me, it's much easier as the pilot than being the gunner. We'll 
actually just do a, a pattern here. I'll come back to you when uh, things are ready in the cockpit here for weapons. Alright, so our weapons are finally ready. We're coming back into the target. We're going to put our, um, as we did before, going to do yeah, show hide Petrovich helper, left control V, and we're going to tell Petrovich to look over there. You're just going to move your head if you got track IR. Observe. And it's going to be a short... Uh, short W for him to look. So it's going to take him a few minutes or a few seconds to pull up the old um, open the doors and all that good stuff. So we're going to use our uh, S key to go down, W to go up on the on the, and then we're going to hit uh, D to select the, the target. So now we're just going to put the crosshairs over and hit our weapon release or our trigger button. And he's going to fire. Good effects on target. And he hit. So we're going to pull off the target there. Because like I said, those are live tanks. We don't want to get shot. And we'll come back around and do that again. So it's fairly easy in the uh, in the pilot seat to tell Petrovich how to fire those. One thing I did forget to mention: um, you want to make sure that you've got your missiles on the off position, or Petrovich will not be able to fire them. So we'll tell him Observe. off down on the which I should have done this before I turned. We'll tell him I didn't do a hard turn though, so everything's okay. But I'll tell him down. Uh, or S um, short to tell him to turn off the observe and the way we can make our maneuvers we'll come back around here and we'll get back up on target and get ready to fire again so you see that that missile did destroy that T-55 that we had out there so they're pretty pretty powerful little little laser guided missiles and you can see the smoke from it way over there and it's burning so we're going to come back around do that again and we'll go ahead and tell Petrovich to look over in that general di direction observe all, observe all searching And we'll select another T-55. Engaging. We'll just keep this, try to keep those crosshairs in the center of our sight to help Petrovich out. And he missed. So we'll tell him to go to the next missile. Fire again. And now we're going to tell him to stow that. And we're going to take a right, hard right turn. And get out of there so we don't get shot. So, he misses just like humans do. Um, I don't know why he missed. Maybe I was not, far, not, not uh, close enough or something. I don't know. But that's just to show you how to use that. Um, so now you can fly with a buddy or fly with somebody else online and you'll know how to fire the uh, Sturms from either way uh, pilot or gunner and hopefully that was helpful for you guys and remember to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time have a good day